signal processing. So this is truly a mathematical section. There's more math in here in signal processing and, com and, com and communication than math itself, right? So let us read this individually. I'm not saying that you know, don't try and don't don't allow the overall impression of the section cloud your judgment for the individual topics. Okay, if you can manage that. So individually looking at sampling, aliasing, and Nyquist. This is easy. Analog filters. Now I went through derivation in analog filter for every single one of those filters. We went through in a lot of detail. So let's call it medium. Okay. Now Z transform. This is a core digital filter, IIR and IFR and difference equations, medium convolution, right? Continuous time convolution. So I would say, yeah, this is hard, right? This is one of the hardest topics on the exam, probably nearing the same level of difficulty as our flip-flops and counters. Correct. So that's agreed. And now this is repeating. I don't know why it's repeating. I need to fix these slides. Anyways, so overall tilt of this section is sort of medium to hard. Agreed. Okay. And this is quite consistent over the years. I've seen students rated as such, not an issue, but I think we have enough um, competency and we have enough resources. We have enough practice to actually stay above average because it's not only you guys who are finding this medium to hard. Everyone complains and cries about signal processing and communications. And you can, don't take my word for it, do a little bit of research online, okay? And you're gonna find people sort of complaining about these sections, right? How to prepare, where to prepare? Do you have a free PDF of this or that? You know, all that type of discussion, right? So everyone is finding it difficult. Uh, this is still in the morning session. This is still in the morning session. Morning is gonna end roughly around electronics. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but electronics is that spillover point right? Where some of the course in the morning is going to end and afternoon is going to start after that. Okay. So if you look at the easy stuff, let's capitalize on the easy and medium over here, right? Um, very mechanical Z transform, just like our Laplace transform. Okay. Convolution. Now with convolution guys, the leading edge and the lagging edge that we discussed, remember the leading edge and the lagging edge and the hard limit for the, for, for, for the, integral. I mean, we did some of the most difficult convolution problems, right? Um, they were not easy problems. And the reason was, and I actually, for the homework assignment that we did, I actually remember I flipped the triangular pulse or it was a tri triangle, right? I intentionally made it more difficult for myself to walk you guys through and you guys did the right thing by flipping the square. And then most of you, you know, our answers were matching, but that was on purpose because I wanted to show you guys that there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Yeah, one is easier than the other, but convolutions is, is not as difficult. Integration, setting the limits, it is tricky and you need to have a little bit of, you know, solid background in calculus. Now, if you don't have a solid background in calculus, it is one of those areas where it's going to come and bite you, right? It doesn't mean that I want you to go back to calculus 101 and go through the entire calculus. That is, an, that is sort of a weakness that you're carrying in your armor, right? Going into the exam. And there are a couple of occasions that it can potentially hurt you, but it's not going to be a fatal blow. Make sense? All right. The digital convolution side of things is is a joke, right? Digital convolution, you have the continuous time con convolution CTC, and then you have DTC. DTC is a joke. It is just mechanical. It's just bean counting, right? So it's not as bad as it looks. Granted, it is. It has a reputation and a perception of being the more difficult topics, one of the more difficult topics on the exam. So our goal is damage control over here. Five to eight questions can make a lot of difference on the exam. Don't omit it. Don't completely skip it. Don't be like, I didn't study signal processing in my undergrad. I'm not going to study signal processing ever, right? That you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. Okay. Communications, again, uh, combined with signal processing and linear systems, uh, uh, math intensive topic. The theory around modulation, demodulation is super um, intense. I'm the first one to admit it, right? Uh, I saw a comment on Reddit. Somebody was saying, hey, I'm doing Wasim's uh, study guide and then this formula is not there. I don't honestly have time to comment on everything, uh, even when students call out, because I prioritize my students over some random, you know, somebody who's asking questions. So modulation, demodulation, you can go really deep in this. And we did go deep in this, right? Remember that discussion we had AM within AM, you have DSB and then SSB. And then you have PM within PM, you have phase modulation, you have frequency modulation, and then take it forward to PCM, PAM. So there's a lot of theory. But having said that, the way we tackled it was that, guys, I want you to understand the basic formulas and I want you to take a visual approach towards it 
right? Derivations, it's icing on cake, right? But if you understand the frequency spectrum and how things are moving and why the cosine is moving it up by FC and moving it down by FC, I think that can do you a lot of favors. So let, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I am more than happy to rate it as hard as well if you guys want. Let's vote it out. Is it medium or hard? This particular topic within communications. So it's let's call it medium. Okay, enough votes for medium. Um, so let's call it medium to hard. Okay, all right. Digital communication. So this is your PCM basically, right? You can say the PM is where things start becoming digital because you're sampling, but uh, this is fairly simple. There are only two, three formulas that you have to worry about, right? So PCM, how are we going to rate it, guys? Easy. Fourier. So the last transform, right? Now, Fourier can be challenging, but if you spend time and effort, understand the tables, I would say it's sort of easy to medium. And I think that's a consensus that we're getting over here, easy to medium. Having said that, you do have to spend time in it. Okay, again, visualization comes into play. Multiplexing primarily, you know, it's theoretical TDM versus FDM. Uh, not much going on here. So conceptually, I would say just easy. Okay, having said that, I do have a couple of interesting problems in the study guide. And I think a couple of students did ask me to include some of those problems in the live training. My apologies, guys. The, this, the, the discussion was already so loaded, especially in the front end. You know, up front with the AM, I could not accommodate anything. Um, outside of the homework assignments and the, some of the specific concepts that I had to tackle, right? So if you guys have some issues with multiplexing any problems in the study guide, <clears throat> please reach out to me and I'll try and address those, okay? So tackling this, again, live in the modules, digital communication, money in the bank, four year, for the most part, money in the bank, multiplexing, not that difficult and a very selective strategic visual approach if you want to take a shortcut with the AM, okay? Otherwise the on-demand course, I've painstakingly gone through everything and derived it for you. Mm -hmm.